What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Brennan and I'm BMAX45 and we're coming at you with another video. We have our first deck profile for the EX6 format of the Digimon TCG and we're starting off with our Cherubimon Alliance deck. It's our green deck. I did not think I was going to be doing this one. Um, I thought I was only going to be doing four deck profiles, uh, you know, black, purple, uh, blue, and uh, yellow, but uh, I saw some of the new support and I was kind of like, oh, this is cool. I really liked the True Beamon deck back in EX4, if you guys remember. Um, and this is so much better and I, I liked it more than Tyrant Capricornmon. So I decided, hey, let's get into this. Let's talk about it. Um, it is missing one card that we don't get till BT17. We'll talk about that a little bit. It's going to make the deck even better. Uh, so I might be playing this as my green deck into BT17. Not sure, right? right now but uh it's a lot of fun and i can't wait to show you the deck profile and of course uh, i might even be doing a red deck profile so i might actually have six ex six deck profiles uh and just keep them coming and by the time we're done we're going to be into bt17 so uh stay tuned for all of those i'm going to get those up coming up here but we're starting with this one we're excited about it and uh yeah so let's get into it and hey uh, if you enjoy this type of content be sure to smash that like button comment down below we love to hear your thoughts subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun and uh, if you guys might notice here i put up uh the beelzemon uh poster in the back change the background poster uh as kind of a homage to uh taking seven demon lords to the regionals yesterday so uh we're just representing digimon here and hey let's get into it let's talk about the deck uh, so to start off with, we have our eggs. going to be four Kokomon from EX4, Inheritable. Your turn once per turn. When it affects, suspends this Digimon. Draw one. Super important. That's your alliance. It gets you those draws. Starting off with the level threes, we play three Terriermon from EX4. He's got the on play. Reveal the top four cards of your deck and add one two-colored uh, green card. So it could be an option too, but we don't. I don't think we have any good uh, two-colored cards options green options and one tamer card with uh henry wong in its name you do play one henry so it comes up and then put the uh rest on the bottom of the deck it has the inheritable this is pretty much the inheritable all your level threes have which is your turn when alliance suspends one of your digimon this digimon may digivolve into a two colored green digimon card in your hand uh with the digivolution cost reduced by two all of your level fours and higher are two color cards so it works for everything. Uh, we also play two t uh, Terrymon Assistant, which is treated as Terrymon. And then he has the your turn when an effect suspends this Digimon. Uh, one of your Digimon gets plus 4,000 DP of the turn. So it's an extra. So it's basically like a 5K alliance uh, instead of a 1K alliance. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, and then his same inheritable to reduce by two. Uh, we play four Lopmons, and we're playing two of these alts and two of these alts just because they're both so amazing um, and they have the same inheritable of course it, and this one's a reveal top four add a two color uh green card and one tamer with Susie, which is more relevant for this deck uh, because we play Susie's are better for this deck uh, we play one lotmon from the starter deck uh, it's there to one of your digimon gains alliance so this can be for your like level sevens or anything you have that doesn't have alliance um, which is really good because we have ways to play this for free, so it's awesome. And then it has the uh, plus 1,000 inheritable while the Digimon is suspended. And then we have two Lusamon, uh, and, and we'll tell you why. Uh, so on play recovery three, um, we're not playing him any other way really uh, than the way I'm going to show you when we get to our level fives, but it's going to be on play recovery and then all turns... Uh, the Digimon can't digivolve into uh, Digimon uh, with, can only digivolve into Digimon with Lusamon in the name. So he's only there, he's literally there for the recovery and to be a 10k alliance target. So it's really good. Make your guy buff. <laughs> so that, that's, uh, that's our level threes. Uh, I believe that's 12. No, no, I think it's three, two, I think that's 12. Yeah. 12 targets. So lots of level threes. Uh, we're only playing eight level fours. We're playing the uh, four Turimon uh, from EX4. And he has Alliance. Uh, he digivolves two from a lot or Terriermon. So always goes off for two. Uh, he's four cost to hard play, which is not bad at all. 
And then end of attack inheritable if you have another suspended Digimon in play. Uh, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2,000. So it's all right. Uh, and then it, it also the Wendigomon. Again, four cost to drop, two to play on a Terrymon or Lotmon. Has Alliance in his thing. And then end of attack inheritable. If you have another suspended Digimon in play, return one green Digimon card from the trash to your hand, which should be super good as well. I'm playing the four. Uh, and the reason we do this is because of our level fives. Our level fives are the new Antilamon. And this is where the Lucimon comes in handy. Uh, it digivolves for three from a Turiamon or a Wendigomon. So you really only want uh, Wendigomons and Turiamons. And those are the best guys. Like I looked at the starter deck Wendigomon. I was kind of like, oh, and the new EX5 Turiamon isn't super great either. So I think that's these are the ones that you need. Uh, and then, of course, I was thinking like I might play one. If I feel like I'm short, I might put in one starter deck Wendigomon. But that would be the only one. Uh, and then the Antilamon has Alliance uh, in his effects. Uh, when Digivolving, you may play a green or yellow level 3 Digimon card from your hand without paying the cost. So it lets you play the Lusamon for free from your hand. It's nuts. Uh, and then, so basically you get that monster for Alliance right away. And then you can attack Alliance and then use the uh, reduced cost Digivolution to go into your level six so that's super good and it has the end of attack inheritable by returning one of your other suspended digimon to the hand you may play one level three card with beast trait uh, from your hand without paying the cost so you can recycle that lucimon back to your hand for future antilamon plays and then and then play out another level three search and and keep building your stuff so that's super super good uh, and then of course we play three of the Antilamon from EX4. This is not the guy we want. There's an Antilamon coming out in BT17 that basically has the same stats as this Antilamon. Uh, you know, Digivolve from uh, Turimon Wendigo from th for three, has Alliance, and when Digivolving, it plays a uh, green or yellow level three Digimon card from the trash. So you can actually play your Lusamons from the trash as well as from the hands and keep recovering and keep having that 10k alliance target which is so good um and then yeah from your hand without paying the cost and then i don't know what the inheritable of the bt17 one is but we don't have it until bt17 so we're, right now we're playing this which is okay it's not as good it's got alliance it digi evolves for three from your level fours uh end of attack this is where the when digivolving evolving is what makes this good the old antilamon had the end of attack and that's what makes those cards difficult to use because you have to attack with it and then hope you survive. Uh, whereas this one here, uh, so end of attack, you may play a green level three Digimon card from your trash without paying the cost. And it's only green, so you can't do the Lusamon play with this guy, but the new one will let you do it and it'll let you do it when Digivolving, so it's gonna be better. Uh, and then end of attack, if you have another suspended uh, Digimon, return one green Digimon card from your trash to the hand. So yeah. It's, and it's probably going to have a similar ability as this guy, as the Inheritable. But right now, this is our other best option. Uh, so you, this guy's your better option, but this guy's all right. And we play one Rapidmon, because Rapidmon and Vulnerability and d Digivolve is super good. Uh, you're not going to be able to get him for anything less than four. Well, if you Alliance, if you Alliance your level four with another Digimon, you can potentially, you can go in, you can Digivolve into him for cheap. Uh, <clears throat> get Alliance, D-Digivolve, and have that invulnerability. So that is good. Um, and then, of course, his Inheritables. When this Digimon uh, deletes an opponent's Digimon by all, trash the top card of the security stack. So it's a really good Inheritable. The invulnerability is, is something that's always super good. Um, you know, uh, and then if you have a green tamer, you have to have a green tamer in play, of course, until the end of your opponent's turn. Uh, effects can't delete this Digimon or return it to the hand. So that's why we play one of that. Uh, that's our our seven level fives. I only run seven level fives. Uh, onto our megas, tons of megas. I play one Shrubimon from EX4. You can Digivolve uh, from for three from a level five two color card, uh, which is all your guys. Uh, it has Alliance on it. Uh, when Digivolving, when attacking, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus three thousand DP for the turn for each of your suspended Digimon. So that can be really good. Um, so you can do like minus six and then the inheritable minus eight. So you can get, get pretty big. Uh, and then we play two Cherubimons, uh, sorry, three Cherubimons from EX4. 
Uh, he's kind of your main Cherubimon. Uh, the evil guy digivolves, you know, again, uh, three on a level five with two colors. Uh, and then alliance, and then when digivolving until the end of your opponent's turn, this Digimon and one of your level five or lower Digimon gain on deletion. You may play this card uh, without paying the costs. So if he dies, you just put him back on the field. So that's super good. And then, of course, you, we play two of the new True Mon X Antibody from BT16. Has Alliance, Digirals from a Cherubimon, any Cherubimon, so light or dark, uh, for a cost of two, which is super good. Uh, and then when Digivolving, when attacking, you may play one level four or lower yellow or green Digimon card from your hand or trash without paying the cost so he can play your Lusamons. Um, end of your turn, and that's so that's twice, so it's when digivolving, when attacking. Um, end of turn, once per turn, if Cherubimon or X Anybody is in this Digimon's Digilution cards, uh, you may delete one of your opponent's level 4 or lower Digimon. For each other Digimon, add one to the effect, uh, a choosable level. So basically, you can summon two monsters and you can delete a level 6. So that's super good. Uh, and you can alliance when you play when you when digivolving you can attack alliance for 10k it's just so good so he's super good uh, and then we put two true mon ace as our final level sixes uh it digivolves from an antilamon uh, for a cost of three and then a purple true for cost one so you can digivolve one from and then otherwise it's a four cost digivolution um, it's got Alliance, it's got Blast Digivolve, uh, it has on play when digivolving, you may play one green or yellow level 4 or lower Digimon card from your hand without paying the cost, then until the end of your opponent's turn, one other Digimon gets minus 4,000 for each of your other Digimon. So if you already have, like, if you play him off the Antilamon doing the Alliance, uh, you can easily do minus 8. So that's really good. Yeah, uh, and the fact that you can blast Digivolve 2 on your opponent's turn, super, super good. Uh, disrupts their plays. We have a couple level 7s here. Uh, of course, any yellow-purple deck wouldn't be complete without a Shine Cream on Rune Mode, because uh, Rune Mode's nuts. And we have one Death X Mon for those wide boards, uh, you know, if your opponent goes wide. And even technically you can Digivolve into it, not that anyone ever does. Um, so that's it for our Digimon. Uh, we play one Henry from the Memory Tamer. Uh, it's searchable. You're only ever going to get that suspending ability off if you put the Rapid Mon on the field. So it, it could come up. Um, yeah. Uh, which could be good, uh, especially, you know, going over, just destroying people's stuff. Um, it'd be nice if you had, like, some form of piercing, but eh. And then uh, we play three Shu Chong Wong, the new one from EX6. On play, uh, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one card with Beast, Beastkin, Holy Beast, or Cherub uh, among its traits. Sorry. Uh, to the hand, and then return the rest to the bottom of the deck. Uh, when it affects, suspends one of your Digimon by suspending this Tamer. Uh, one of your Digimon may Digivolve into a Digimon with the Beastkin, Holy Beast, uh, or Cherub trait in the hand uh, with the Digivolution cost reduced by two. So you can digital for free with the, if you have enough Susies on the board, and uh, and plus your Alliance inheritables. So super super good. So this is this is the main card you want to see. Um, Henry's just there for the memory tamer, and it's searchable. So you could play Mimi's if you wanted and play a fifth egg. It's just more consistent. You can get the Henry than the Mimi, and I'm only playing one of it, so I wouldn't play more than one Mimi. Uh, play three agility training. You know, because agility training is legit. I play two Double Typhoon. I still think this card is good. A lot of people don't play it in this version of the deck. But, I mean, being able to free summon out your Alliance target, like if you have your guy in Raising and you don't have enough memory, having this on the board and being able to summon out that Lotmon and have that Alliance target to continue your plays, I think it's super good. Plus, it does search pretty much everything in your deck because it is uh, reveal top three cards of your deck. Add one green Digimon card. And one such tamer among them to your hand. Uh, return the rest to the bottom of the deck. Uh, then place this card in the battle area. And then, of course, you may play a Terramon or Lotmon from your hand without paying the cost. 
Um, it's not as important in this deck, but I think two slots is, is kind of a nice spot because it does some good work for you. And of course, we play giant, two Giant Missile as removal because uh, it's super good, and we play two Heaven's Judgment as more removal because Heaven Judgment is broke, and you have at least three different colors here, so you can activate it a total of four times uh, with the right board. So that's kind of nuts. So that is the deck profile, guys. That is our bunny deck. Uh, it's going to be fun. I can't wait to play it even more. Uh, Cherubimon Ace is really cool. Uh, and Telemon is really cool. I can't wait for BT17 because I think the deck is going to be even better. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Do you like this deck? Uh, do you want to play it? Uh, do you have any suggestions? Is there anywhere I went wrong? Let me know in the comments down below. And it looks like this is all the time we have for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. And we hope to see you in the next video. And as always, have a wonderful day. And that's all for now, folks.